Hi, this is Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. We're here at Surf Expo 2011. I'm here with Mr. Jason Slezak, and we're here at Liquid Force, and we're here to talk about these beautiful kites that are on top of us. So let's walk through some of the kites. Right on, yeah, we've got uh, three kites in the line for this year. We've got the Envy, which you can see above us here. Yeah. Uh, the Envy is uh, a three-strat platform kite. Um, you know, taking it down to three struts is makes it lighter in weight. You know, it saves some cost, but also gives it a better low end. Um, so the Envy is kind of our bread and butter all around kite for most people out there. Super stable, relaunches really, really well. Um, it's start, you know, it's something that somebody can learn on. But yet, most of our global team and regional team and whatnot chooses to ride that kite as well. Find it drifts down the line really well for wave riding. Um, you know, you got guys that are doing wake style riding, park stuff riding it. So you know, for me, I can travel with one kite that does everything, and I choose to ride You're the all Envy. Rounder. Yeah, and that it's it comes complete with uh, Max Flow, which is our inflation system, uh, super wide opening valve, which was worked really really well. Um, our single point uh, inflation system, and basically as diamond wingtip which has been around for a while and we carry it through all of our line of kites uh, and you know it's kind of our bread and butter amazing kite now what size is that coming this year uh we've got five seven nine twelve and fifteen beautiful now let's talk about some of the other kites all right uh new for 2012 is we have the energy uh the energy is a little bit of a flatter kite um sort of has a better high end rockets up wind amazingly well it's for that rider that you know wants to boost really big um, kind of max out and likes to ride really overpowered uh, it's a four strut platform so no center strut um, still has the diamond wingtip but we've done a little bit of a new bridle system for that which has the pulleys uh, in the bridle and you know again it, it's something to separate the two kites uh, from that Envy kite rider to the Energy kite rider, somebody who wants a little bit more kind of high wind range, high performing kite. What size that come in? Uh, we've got for the Energy, we've actually got a light wind specific version called the Light Breeze, which is a 16 and a 14, so those are the big ones. Right. And then you've got 12, 10, 8, and 6. Wow. Yeah. Finally, let's go to the last one. Uh, the last kite is our Nirvana, which is also new for 2012. The Nirvana is our uh, five-line uh, C-shaped kite. Yeah. So, you know, the guys, uh, especially a lot of our European team riders, really love that feel of the five-line, you know, direct attachment points to the wingtip. Still has the carryover of the diamond wingtip, um, but it does have a fifth line on it for both stability and relaunch. But, you know, the kite loopers out there and the really high-end uh, freestyle riders on both the PKRA and really pushing the limits are ride, tend to gravitate a little bit more towards the Nirvana. Now tell me, what size is that coming? Uh, the Nirvana's this year, uh, 5, 7, 9, 11. Now they all use the same bar? Uh, they do. Well, except for the fact that we have the fifth line on the Nirvana, obviously. Well, but the, the yeah, the bar itself is our, this is our 2012 CPR control system. Uh, the CPR control system has been redesigned. Everything from our one piece uh, molded bar ends with winders uh, molded right into them to a new ergonomic design where you have a little bit of a bulge out on the back of the bar that you can see here fits really good into your fingers. So whether you're just cruising around riding super light on the bar or if you're unhooked and you're throwing tricks, it just really fits right into the, uh, into the curve of, the, of your hand. Um, we've got our CPR release, which is a uh, center push release, so you can push that away. Leash pops off, really, really easy. Uh, yellow coating here so that when you put it back in, you can tell that at one click you're not hooked in, you can see yellow. Boom, you're down, you're hooked back in. Um, we've got our leash line here, which is also your depower line. So your leash hooks onto here, you can plug it into the back on either side if you, if you have too much leash line out. Uh, and then we've also got a center flagging line for people when they're first either first learning or if they're really unsure and you're in really squirrely conditions, this will completely flag the kite yet keep it attached to you. Um, out of our molded winders, we've got really nice coated lines. If you have to grab on them for any reason when you're relaunching or whatever, you don't have a line running through your hands to burn your hands. Uh, and everything, uh, we've also got, you know, red on the left color coding on both the wax, or uh, the coated lines and the bar, uh, and the wonderful backward. 
printed on here, so the bar is backwards if you see that. Um, yeah, you know, we've got our swivel swivel up here this year again. Um, you know, for, for your lines if they do get tangled, but and our sliding stopper ball, so you can control how much throw you have in your bar, whether it's in, when the wind's light, you want to keep it close, or if you have to adjust something on your harness or foot straps, or you know, if you're just taking a look around, or if you want a lot of throw, you move it out. So those are all the features of the 2012 CPR control system. Now, if they want to find more about this, where can they find it? Uh, liquidforestkites.com, and uh, like I said, our 2012 website is up, so you can go get that information right away. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, man, thanks, Alexis.